or you try to divide. Or my point is simple: if you hustling, if a if a person spends nine to five selling dope, they gonna be a bad ass dope boy. Mm-hmm. If a motherfucker spend nine to five playing the drum, they gonna be a bad ass drummer. Hold drum. on, let me. They they jobs exactly. That's my point. That's that's part of the point. If a motherfucker spend nine to five working on the cars, he's a bad ass goddamn mechanic. Mm-hmm. He gonna see some progress. He gonna see some money. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? However, if you spend nine to five painting the picture, how long you think it's gonna take you? To see some some money from the picture. Once the picture is completed. Once the picture is completed. See, nowadays, the possibility of you seeing some residuals from your work is better, more, because of the internet. But back in the day, oh, okay, well, shit, man, you paint a picture, you, that motherfucker sit in your basement for decades and decades before somebody even see it. It takes months or weeks Once before, or uh, you have to put on a, 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 a gallery for somebody to see it, you see what I'm saying. But once you t- nowadays, once you take that picture, you can matter. take a picture of that motherfucker sit on internet. It if it's hot, minutes. that bitch gonna be viral. But you ain't gonna sell it but if once you the put picture is forth, complete. You putting forth all of your efforts into what you want to accomplish versus putting forth all of your efforts into what you can accomplish. That's the difference. You gonna do what you want to do, or you gonna do what you can do. I know good and well I can get. Look. Hold on, hold on. I know good and well I can get my ass out here and I can work on me a job. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. If you say, you know good and well. Now, this is me. Now, I'm finna talk about me personally. I know good and well. One thing I can do is get out here on a job. Mm -hmm. I can work. No problem. Do I want to work on somebody else's job? No. What I want to do is work for myself. However, Mm -hmm. I know what I have to, I feel like. Here's the deal. I know, I feel like, I think that the best thing for me to do right now is to go out here and get on somebody else's job versus Uh going out here and creating work for myself. Uh That's my mentality. And you tell me that's the correct way of thinking. Yeah. Okay. What's what? See, now I'm going to tell you something else. Are you talking about you? I'm talking about me. No. Me. Because your, 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 your hustle. It's different. It depends on when you say making money for mm-hmm. yourself. You talking about making money for yourself in several different kind of ways. Okay, so let me ask you this right here. Hold on, D- to take it outside of the scope of myself. The average black it, it depends on man. The I'm gonna ask you this. I just like saying DA. Uh huh. Come on, man. No, we ain't talking. We ain't gonna say no name. You can't say the average name. black man. No, what I, I love you. The average black man. You have a good day at work. Have been trained. To say, okay, well, what we're going to do is we're going to get out here. The best thing for you to do, young man, is to get out here on your job. That's what we taught, as generally, as black men. Am I correct or wrong? That's what we've been taught. Am I right or wrong? That's not. I ain't no if ands buts about it. I'm yes, is it? I'm asking you. Do you feel like that's an accurate description of the way we have been programmed up in our, our time? Our times, yes. And, we but was the taught younger generation is different. No, okay. It's different. So we okay, was yeah. taught that okay, we taught the that. best thing for you to do is get out here and get on your job. Mm-hmm. Now, what do you think these white people, these white boys, our generation that, that matches our generation? What do you think they was taught back then? The go best to thing to do is to either get your ass out here and get go to college. Go to college. Go in the military or get out here and create your own motherfucking job. They ass ain't taught to get out here. Yeah, you can go out here and work. A, a, you can get your go to college a, to get your good job. If you ain't foundation. going to school, if you ain't going to school, one you thing about get out them here. white folks, they ain't just putting the kid out there like bam, go. No, they no, gonna no. support. They gonna them. support them, but I, they gonna also That's support the them, the, the proper the mind. For you, right? That's the difference. However, let me tell you this right here. I'm gonna tell you, and it's crazy because. All of the music that has engulfed our culture tells us to do one thing and it shows us to do another. Tupac, a prime example. Look, man, they tear you down what you need to do. Matter of fact, Tupac said the same thing Michael Jackson said. They don't care about us. 
Okay. Them guys said the same thing, two different perspectives, two different upbringings, two different cultures, two, two, not that, culture, but two different minds, way color, of though. thinking. No, it wasn't a culture. That was a message. Was a and message. we missed it. Our generation, we missed it. When he said they don't care about us, who, 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 who was who, they? Who, who, no, who is us? Exactly. Who is us? It's who, not the black people. No, it ain't, it ain't. Who is they, though? The rich people. Exactly. Now, who is us? The poor people. There you go. Poor is not a color. Poor is not a color. Oh, no, poor it's not a color. You damn right. But see, at the same time, me, my, I try to, I try to, you know, influence the people that I know. Mm-hmm. I'm used to growing up around black, and that's what I try to get my people to understand. Like, man, I'm not culturally blind. I'm not racist, but I'm used to nothing but black people. That's Jackson, why I'm racist. That, I don't consider that racist because you I give my you a own chance. People that dumb me a lot worse than, <laughs> than any my motherfucking own. White motherfucking God, because I, I ain't never allowed no white person to get that close to me to do but me wrong. But the black folks have done but it, yet, man. Yet they done done it. You're they fucking done right. did a nigga raw every kind of which way possible, man. Every which way possible. You see what I'm saying? Now, when it comes down to it, I always say our our problem is us, but. White people haven't made it easier. They ain't made it easy. They ain't made it. No more. matter of fact, they probably easy. even pushed that a part of their agenda. Yeah. Black, let, 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 let the niggas do each other. Mm-hmm. That was the plan. But God damn it, we fell forward like a motherfucker. Yeah, we fell forward. And niggas now we still, and we're still falling for it. Because check this out. Who the Democratic Party ran by? Who the Republican Party ran by? Who was all of this shit ran by? Who is our, who is the motherfucker pulling all the strings? There and it goes right back. Why I say I ain't never dispute you. It's just Fuck your the Democratic Party. If you can, let me if ask you can reach, this. If you can reach a motherfucker I, I, from their perspective, then you can get the understanding I, 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 from. It. Okay, I'm gonna read you from a whole nother perspective. The perspective. Fuck of, the motherfucking government. Here's the perspective. Yeah, that's real. Have you ever been in your motherfucking cell? Nope. And nine motherfucking niggas coming there on you just because you got the commissary. Has that motherfucker ever? <laughs> Think about it, man. Man, you fuck with man. I'm going to give you something you can relate. Man, yeah, what the fuck? That motherfucker ain't never been in your house when you at, at 3 o'clock in the morning when you were Come making on, your... Man. Hey, check this out. Ain't never been at 3, at 3 o'clock in the morning man. when you're making your babies, but he won't tell you how to raise them. Yeah. Peep game now. That's that, and see, that's my point when it comes but down I'm to it. Black men, all of them full of shit. How many black men you but see the only, in the house with their child? Why? Nine is times it? out of ten, a nigga you see at the house with the child, he the stepdad. Why is it that way? B E T. Do you think? Let me ask you this right here. <laughs> okay, well, let me ask you this right here. Let me ask you I, this question. I can't answer that. Let question. me ask you this right here. Yeah. Do you think that if you had it your if you had it your way, how would it be? That's my question. If you, as a black man, had it your way, how would it be when the it comes way, down to the black family? The way of Norwegians. What's that? Give me some specifics. Go I don't know nothing about the, how the Norwegians. We're going to go back to the 60s. Like, mm-hmm. every, every neighborhood raised a child. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Back in the days, man, you could go eat at everybody's house. Mm-hmm. You go sit down at everybody's table. Everybody mm-hmm. was your mama. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Everybody see you doing something wrong, they're going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody can tell you, hey, man, you take your ass to school. And then you're going to call your parents and, and tell them, hey, him. man, I just I saw. Just, uh, you know and made his ass take his ass to school because he then, over here fucking up. Fucking up. And then you still get in trouble when you get home because you got to go fucking up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? All that. And it bleeds you up into a high grade of, of morals growing up as a person. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, the, the girl don't feel like she got to go to the club and twerk her goddamn ass to get a gig, to get a phone number. And, 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 you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And the stars on. Nigga, had, back in the day, we, nigga, you finna take a bitch out somewhere. She got to meet mama first. She got to meet the family. She got to sit down and eat. They want to know what her grades look like. God damn it, what's her plans for the future? Is she, you know what I'm saying, good, you know, all that type of shit, man. It wasn't like, you, you can leave your doors unlocked. You can leave your money sitting out. You know, you, 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 you God damn it, if, if this nigga here clothes wasn't right, he can wear your clothes. Or you can wear his clothes. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was one big family. That's what I would do. 
for the goddamn black so I can have it my motherfucking way. But shit, you want to get back to reality now? Not the way it is. Now. <laughs> I know how it is now. Okay, then. I know how it is now. See, that's how it's supposed to be, man. Ain't hey, don't nobody have and any right, kind it's of not respect being for like each that. <laughs> that's the way it is. Exactly now. why it's the way it is now. Because we got just none of that no more. Not even a ten. Not even a two percent of that no more. None of that. Not a drop of it. That shit went left when crack hit. Come when crack hit, goddamn America it took away the morals too. It took away every goddamn thing. Well, motherfuckers weren't getting raised the same no more. Nine times kids and ten kids was raising their motherfucking self then. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was all fucked up. So shit. That's what I yeah. got, damn it. It's good. Frank, uh, Frank Milton. R.L. That's the bottom of Holy the fucking line. I'm winning. All these beats I'm killing, all these girls they willing, all these boys they feeling. Pass me the blanks I'm winning, pass me the cups I'm winning, yeah.